Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with the World's One playthrough. We are proceeding pretty well along this. We got our base pretty much going and everything like that. We have uh, uh, gone through, and let me just go ahead and get this recharged. Uh, gone through uh, several of the uh, events for the Artemis mission line. We now have to relay our portal glyphs to Apollo at a hollow terminus. Now remember, we're also in touch with Null. So let's see how this goes. We're going to jump on the ship and we'll do the scan from there. And of course I don't have any fuel in my gravity well. <laughs> there we go. So where is it located? That way. Incoming blizzard. Let's see how fast we can head over here. It should be approximate, so we got to keep our eyes peeled. Oh, there it is. There we go. Got to wait for the landing pad to appear. All right. Let's go see Hollow. Should be able to make it up here. There we go. A little chilly out there right now. Alright. We already know that particular line, so I'm not going to read it for the 47th time. I feel it necessary to stand on the platform like everybody else. There he is. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a Gek to look after my farm while I'm away. Say you have found them. I'm not going to bother with asking about the farm. As I look at Apollo, I think of all that we that I saw within the portal, of what happened to Artemis when they walked that same path. I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Give him the glyphs. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to watch out, to, pardon me, to find out what I can from this so-called Null. They warn me to be careful, too. So very interesting, they've never heard of Null before. Wait a second, what's this? We have Null. Two lost souls, one who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now, and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Ask why they need your help. The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest in our, in, to our investigation. There, there we will find the first secret, I am sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is terrified. It is in pain. And we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. And so it ends, so we have to proceed on. It looks like the storm is already over, go figure, right? That took a little bit. All right, let's jump back down to our ship. There we go. So we gotta visit a chosen observatory. I'm guessing we're going to have to... Oh, it says to bring news to Apollo, of Apollo to Nada. Okay, let's go up there and do that next. Yeah, we could go over there, but it's just easy to pull it in. There we go. Off we go. So, we're going to talk to Nada and Polo about this real quick. We know that Apollo is going to try to use a portal to try to reach us. 
that Null has something else in mind. And there he is, present to Tinata. You are becoming more visible, Donata, traveler friend. Your eyes lend themselves to our small convergence. This makes Nada happy. Nada is not happy with other events. Portals are infected. Vector for corruption. Interesting how his name is purple at the moment. Hmm. Artemis entity perished in the portal. Apollo entity will only spread corruption. Danger. Ask more. Atlas Fall City watches the portals. Portals belong to them. Those who enter may all may belong to Atlas Fall City. Great danger. Okay, well, that's interesting. And I, weird how his name is purple now. Then Polo is back to green. Interesting. Not a friend does not trust the portals. Scared of rampancy of the Crimson Hunter, but I do not fear in the same way. What might we discover, traveler friend? What might we learn from them? They have the same roots as you, as our home, as all this universe. Ask about fear. Nada is scared we may lose our home. I am scared I will forget the world outside it. Do not let us forget, traveler friend. Oh, they know something's about to happen. There we go. Alright, so we're out of here. Just making sure our mission is selected. We're on our way. There's where we're headed, right there. And I don't think it's an approximate location. It may be the location. Nope, it is approximate. I'm going to guess it's this building over here that we passed by. Now, why is there a landing pad near nothing? Did you notice that? There's nothing here. But yet we have a landing pad. Interesting. Never seen anything like it before. There should be a building here. But there isn't. Huh. Now it's saying it's how many? 11 hours away? Uh, does anyone else think something's going on here? How do I think that this is going to start crashing on us? Hope I haven't broke the game in some way. I just didn't realize it. Yes, look at that. It is now on the other side of the planet. I mean, you saw this the way I did, so... That was really the strangest thing I've seen in a while. Now, it's not the observatory we're interested in. It was, and it seems that the observatory is now disappeared again. Looks like the observatory showed up over here. Does it look familiar to anybody? Is anyone else getting creeped out by this? Alright, that was really strange. Hey, okay, we're here. Null's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. The observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by a GEC specialist, a translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment, but it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist, and events that did not happen. That Gek went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Korvac still on board. They never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo met? 
Is this how my friends found each other? There is a signal in the console, a warning on repeat. 16 short bursts of data in a loop. Extract the coordinates. I extracted, uh, pardon me, I extract coordinates for the distress signal. A, ves a crashed vessel awaits me on another world. Okay. Radio crash site located. That way. All right. That looked weird. Lots of air currents blowing through the facility. Not very well sealed, I would say, would you? Okay, up we go. That was on another world, right? Yeah. Supposedly on another world. We're gonna go out into space and check it out. Um, not on another world. It happens to be the world we're on. How weird. Usually, it appears on another planet. Then again, if that Gek left where he was, he would have found it. Let's hover for just a second. Let everything build in. We should see a freighter. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, wait, there it is. Right here. Now, this is an odd freighter because we actually have to get all the keys. So we will have to dig up everything along the way. All right. We could have picked it up the old-fashioned way, but this is easier. Log encryption keys. That's what we're looking for. We have to get all of them. Okay, this one. Two. Three. Should be able to get to it here. Eh. And four. fifth one, and we will need the sixth one. There it is. And the last one. Okay, so we're done. Got all the log encryption keys. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. Log encryption key. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive. But I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. Encryption key. Ship logs requested. Accessing. Another encryption key. They struck as one. An attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. 
With the fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. Only I remained. The Korvax stood with me in the end, to their credit. They concealed me with their flotilla as they headed towards the center. Continue. Log integrity compromise patching. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them that I told them what we already know, all of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me, a thousand, a million. We are not alone. For every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed no matter the horror of the end. They are at my door. I... Error. Unexpected log termination. And there we find the truth behind Nada and Polo. They knew... They knew deep down what had happened. So, that is what we have found here. And so we're going to go ahead and return. All right. So we have done that. We have to activate the hollow terminus and speak to Null one more time. I'm going to do a quick scan. Terminus located. It is over here. It looks like it's actually close by. Oh, right here. All right, here we go. Activated. There we go. Speak to Null. All right, here we go. Null should be right here. What did you find out there? Tell me everything share the discoveries. I tell Null of the freighter and its recordings, how it spoke of a world where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Korvax entity. I choose my mo my words with care. You think I do not know who that Korvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse, dimensions where things happened differently. But there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is omnipresent in all, a singular being with a singular perception. Uh, the Sentinels move between dimensions at will. So we ask about the Sentinels. They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization. They hunted for errors within the universe, preventing destruction and loss of life. The annihilation recorded in that log, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. So, what about the Atlas? The Atlas created all life, and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation. That they annihilated an entire universe, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. Ask how they know. I have been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know, had you seen the things that I have seen. It was the Travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I, I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from this deed, Paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with them. I will translate. End communication. Very interesting. So we're learning a little bit more about what's going on here. And we know that... As I have been touting as well in my own theories regarding Nada, is Nada knows more than he lets on. Matter of fact, he knows a lot more than he's letting on. And the whole point being is that he um, doesn't want 
us or anyone else to do what he knows is coming. And you're going to see that soon. All right, so we got to find a... What did it say? Wait a second. Hold on. Oh, we got to share it with Nada, too. Okay. Here I thought we were about to enter into hyperspace. All right. Off we go. So once again, we're going to get a little more Quicksilver out of this, obviously, as we share the plans with him. And then we're going to jump back and talk to, or go go where uh, Nada is telling us to go at this point. Now remember, Apollo is on his way. Apollo is doing his thing, or trying to get here. So we'll see what happens. Hello, Nada. Vikeen entities have long history. Conflict, honor, rage, pride, and yet so static, defined by themselves, never changing. Nada waits, as if expecting me to ask something else. Ask about the Viking. Viking hate the Gek, hate the Sentinels. Sentinels hate our home. Gek hate Corvax. Nor Nada should be friends with Viking, yes? No, Nada's not thinking this way. Ooh, just kind of brushed me off. All right. Missing friend has you do... Uh, pardon me, let's try that again. Missing friend has you do their business. Help if you must, but always discover for yourself. Think about what you do. Do not just follow instructions with your eyes not open. The Viking. Big, grumpy fellows. They do not like friendly little Gek. Perhaps they are wise. Like all beings, you will see their value if you get to know them. Now we have, in a way. We've gotten to know the one that is uh, in our base, so... That's a starting point, I guess. All right, here we go. On our way. So we're going to go speak to a Viking tar tar cartographer by hyperspacing to a galaxy that has a Viking in it. So that is going to be... Let's see, this is Free Explore Galactic Core Current Mission. Current Mission has us going here. That's Corvax. Here. That's Pirate. Do we not have the mission selected? Let's fly out into the open over here and make sure our log has the right place. Okay. Do we not have a Viking planet that we have gone to? Oh, it must be over here. That's my bad. Okay, we got it. On our way. I must have somehow not seen it. All right. And we're in Viking space now. Oh, pirate battle. Shall we? Okay, one down. Got to do the battles because sooner or later we're going to get a pretty decent freighter. And maybe we can get it for free. Oh, I hope I didn't miss him and hit the freighter. Guess we're going to find out. Another one gone. Another one down. Another one down. Another one, and... Gone. Good. Where he goes in the shields. Got him. Oh, that's it. Oh, good. We didn't hit the ship after all. Okay, Vikeen and impressed. 
let's head into the freighter and get our reward. Not exactly my favorite type of ship here, but this will work. Alright. Destroyer of 15 starships. How nice. I think we go up here. There we go. Let's see what we get. Uh, follow the orange line. I'm just playing with this chair because I can't get the thing off my screen. Just waiting for it to figure it out. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to speak to the captain, but you won't let me. There we go. The alien barks a loud battle cry as they approach, celebrating our victory. I hope. I gesture toward the control panel. Let's inspect the freighter and see what we got. It's a C-Class. Pretty lousy. Okay, we're going to go and just accept the reward, shall we? All right, so we're going to cargo bulkhead, increased standing by two, 235 nanites, and some gold. Very nice. I'll take it. And there we go. Off we go. Okay, so we need to go to the space station. Should be pretty close by. There it is. Let's fly through a couple of asteroids. Oh, very nice. And on we in. Uh, on we go into the space station. Kind of a greenish gold. That's nice. Alrighty. Looks like we have a cartographer right over there. Now this is different from the earlier missions. It shouldn't need me to change anything or to increase my standing. Let's see what happens. Alright, so we can't understand anything. So we're going to probe Viking lore. Let's see what happens. As the warrior begins their bark, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of Null's glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly, the Viking's word ring, words ring clear in my ears. Ra, pathetic interloper, prying into Viking's secrets, cowardly spy. I should kill Gra. But, traveler must be aided. Such is command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. I will reveal only this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Continue with their words. Gra. Okay, so we do have to do something after all. So, let's go ahead and get started. Off we go. We have to go down to a planet circuit, sur circuit surface and retrieve the Viking artifact from an ancient ruin. Hopefully we get it right. Okay. Oh, this way. Right over there. All right. Yep, large ship popped in just as I was uh, heading there. That happens. All right. Rikeen Reliquary. And I think we have a storm going on as well. Whoops, slow down, slow down. Okay, oh, there's a building there. Oh, is that it? Or is that a tree? Nope, that's it. Yep, that's it. Scalding storms. Let's go ahead and grab the words. Yeah, I'm just going to let it go. Accept the knowledge. No big deal. We learn the word interloper. We can stay right here and survive the storm a little better, or we can just proceed on through. Looks like the temperature's dropped enough anyway. 
and we learned the Viking word for Gra, which happens to be Gra. Go figure. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of her commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and the belief of the ancients. Ancient knowledge passed down through generations of Viking warriors spills from the marker stone, filtering into my mind like a long forgotten memory. Speak in Viking. I begin to speak, and my voice is seized by an unknown power. I roar, taking myself by surprise. None hamper the path toward Drindarg as the Sentinels. They must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. So has it been written, so it shall come to be. This is this the Vikings swear. Speak in Viking. I call out once more, my throat harsh and gasping, the sound guttural. The words spill forth, summoned by the power of the monolith. The Book of Herc speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Vikings shall not impede their ascent, for the travelers must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. Leave. As the words fade, their lines still resonating in my vision, I find myself in possession of an ancient tome. And we have the Viking tablet. And it looks like... Sentinel. What is going on? Should we take him on? Hmm, I'm thinking we should. We could use some upgrades and stuff, and this is a great place to fight from. Let's do it. It says deactivated, but we're gonna... So what do we got in this place? Can we go up higher? Yeah, we can. Where are they? Over here? I wonder if we could shoot through the windows. Do you think that's possible? shoot like stormtroopers. See? Okay, there should be a couple of floating around here. Get rid of him before he calls in more units. Where's the rest? Looking. Oh, there's one. Got him. I think there's one more. Is there not? Two. Oh, there he is. Alright, good deal. Let's look at this way. And that way when they appear, they'll appear in front of me and I'll still be sheltered. That didn't work. Oh, yes it did. See, this works out really good, doesn't it? Hello. There we go. So now we got the doggy down there. Oop, hello. Oop, where'd he go? Oop, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Oh, he got me. Right. Thought I had him. We have to be careful here. Ooh. Thought we had paralysis mortars. Where is he? And there we go. A little bit of a healing there. Good deal. Yeah, we're going to take the rest of them out. And I'll let them come over there this time. Can't see him. Alright, let's get rid of the calling units. We'll take them out later. The healing units, too. Got him. Okay, who else we got? Hi there. There's another one. Well, we're getting some good stuff out of this. How are we doing ammo-wise? Okay, we're doing alright. Ah, there he is. Let's go over here. Now, we're going to have some healers and stuff we need to get rid of. Where's the other guy? Got him. Good deal. Alright. So that's most of them down. Slip in here, just in case. So this seems to be a pretty good place to fight from. Hope you agree. Okay, call-in units are gone. We need to get rid of the healers. Two. There he is, three. Okay, all the healers are gone. Hi there. We can take him out. Actually, we don't really need to take him out. We just need to take him out. We'll have to keep doing that.
Yeah, we got him. Got it. One more brain. And they're gone. And this guy's gone too. Fantastic. Alright, let's collect our spoils and get out of here. So I think we're finally strong enough to face these guys anytime we need it, we need to. Uh, let's see. It looks like we've got all the spoils. Let's see what we got. We still have one log encryption key here. We can get rid of that. Looks like we got a 10 salvage glass. Let's see what we get out of it. All right. Only got one upgrade out of that, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. We're just going to take that and use it up here. What do we get? Not much. <laughs> All right, so this goes in our ship for now. We're going to put these things in our ship, I think. Um, yeah, we'll hang on to them for now. And does the starship have something in it? Ooh, I forgot we have these, too. What do we get? A uh, pulse engine module and a suspicious shield module. That is for me. Uh, where do we put you? Over here? Ah, there we go. What is it giving us? Oh, nice. That's actually pretty good. All right, and while we're here... There we go. Let's get everybody update, upgraded real quick. Alright. Uh, life support, we're okay. Might as well take care of things while you're in here, you know? Alright, anything else in our starship? We do have some wep wep sentinel weapon shards. We've already got three, which are actually half we... No, they're not that great, to be honest with you. But we're out of room in here, for the most part, unless we can get some crystallized hearts. And we need to do that next. Alright, we'll do that after we're done with this area here. Okay, and let's move some stuff over. You see, we've already got some things over here. Uh, the pulse engine module would be kind of handy. Where's our pulse engines on this ship? It's over here, right? 20 boost for maneuverability. Not that great. Okay, let's undo it. We'll get some extra stuff out of it, that's all. So we're in good shape there. Well, let's go over here and move our things over. We don't really need that. I'm going to delete it. And we don't need the cargo bulkhead for now. We'll hang on to the Pugnium because it could come in handy later on for upgrades and stuff like that. We've got our tablets, so I think we're ready to go. All right. Off we go. Got to return to the cartographer with our Viking artifact. Hmm, 60 Sentinels, huh? Very nice. So we are winding down to the end of our episode here. So as we go into here, we're going to go ahead and complete this. I know normally I go about an hour, but I'm actually going to cut this one a little bit shorter than usual. So we do have to speak to a Gek cartographer and then a Vi and a Corvax cartographer. So we're just going to finish up our Viking one. And in the in-between, I am going to get my multi-tool as upgraded as I can get it. Uh, here we go. No wished, me, wished for me to visit the Viking and learn what I could. Of the Atlas, the creator of all the universes, the Sentinels, rebellious hunters of anomalies, and the Travelers, who committed some unforgivable act long ago. Let's be clear about that last part. We didn't commit the act. Null did. Reveal the Viking tablet. Gra, you have communed with Kirk. You are worthy, interloper. Make your request. Be bold. We ask about the Atlas. Gra, do not speak that name. Only pathetic beings worship liar Atlas. Ask about pathetic beings. The crimes of the Gek will not be forgotten. Obliterated Korvac's homeworld, enslaved the synthetics, and melted them down for nanite clusters. Their so-called first spawn summoned back the Sentinels with their brutality and barbarism. Gra, Ask about the Viking. Any being that claims to be a god is not one interloper. Progenitor Hurt knew this well. Battle Brother Nal did not. 
They died for a false dream. The Viking tells me of their history, of wars with the Gek, of Korvac slaves and Tyrannus empires. The Viking suggests that if the Atlas is a god, then it is insane. I am about to leave when I notice something on the Viking's terminal. Two digits blinking endlessly. They feel familiar. Ask about 16. I... Bzz, gra... What... What... Grr, interloper... What face are... The Viking is visibly pained by the mention of this number, staring at their terminal as if they have seen it for the first time. Their words slur, a strange sound entering every sentence. Leave. Okay, that's not creepy at all, right? All right, so we're all done with that. And how to end on a creepy note is basically what I guess the end of this episode is. Um, we're going to go ahead and call it quits here, folks. We're going to pick up with the um, Gek and the Corvax, whichever one comes first that the uh, that Polo, pardon me, that Null decides. As you can see, we're going to go to the Corvax. Corvax got hard for next. So we're going to do that in the next episode. We'll do the Corvax, then I'm going to do the Gek, and hopefully we'll be coming to a close end of this episode, of this whole run-through of the Artemis run uh, uh, mission line. So uh, stay tuned for the next episode, folks. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons. We thank you very much for being here, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Take care, everybody.